Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I am going to do another pour which is also going to be a um, straight pour and I am going to pour my painting on the bottom of a cup. Uh, the previous painting that I made uh, doing the exact same technique and I loved it so much so I am going to repeat the same process and I'm going to check if it gives me the same effect so to begin with on black I dropped um, alizarin red I am just scraping everything because I don't want to save uh, any extra paint for later use uh, the difference between my last pour and this pour is last time I layered each paint twice but this time I am basically pouring everything uh, at once so I'm trying to drop the paint from far away but later on I'm scraping everything so after alizarin red I used uh, cadmium orange and the last red paint I used uh, cadmium red red deep hue all these paints are from Liquitex basics and the last one is the 24 karat gold um, the pouring medium that I used is Floetrol so look at this cup now you can see that on top of the cup I don't have much gold layering and that will change the whole thing just look at it and compare it with my previous paint and you'll see what I mean so today I'm going to use a canvas I'm actually I'm recycling I have so many paintings I don't know what to do with them so this one I am recycling this is 16 by 20 canvas and I'm going to um, pour in it I have uh, probably 12 ounces of paint with me so it should be okay so to start with I am pouring some black um, just to make sure that my uh, I I'm just basically making a base to put my bottle bottom there we go now I am going to pour my paint on top of this now I'm di I'm diluting my rest of the paint um, so I can put them surrounding my paint so my paint will flow easily and basically I want my paint to slide not roll on my canvas so here we start let's see how it looks like when I cut my bottle bottom it was not leveled 100% so when I started pouring it was kind of off balance so that's why I'm with one of my hand I am tilting my canvas to evenly distribute the paint I am not doing a very good job but that's how it is I love the layering that I'm get, getting so this is what I meant um, since I did not have any white, uh, not white, the gold layering on top of my cup, um, so I don't have any extra gold in my center, and that will completely change the composition of this paint. It will give it a 3D effect. Just making sure my paint can slide easily on the canvas so whatever old paint I can find I'm just going to layer them just to make sure that my um, 
pour paint can slide easily on top of the canvas. It really doesn't matter what color paint I use on the sides because they will slide off anyway out of the canvas. So now I am kind of first forwarding trying to cover my entire can canvas with my paint and then I will focus on composition now I am fixing my comp composition you can see now you can see that I'm trying to make a little bit of or I'm trying to create a little bit of drama um, I am always looking for composition so and uh, sometimes what happens is if you have a big puddle of paint if you use on the syringe to uh, suck up some paint it looks really pretty so I was trying that it didn't go very well now I'm just only focusing on composition little bit of torch can you see on the upper left side nice little cell golden cells are popping up and that's what I am looking for let's see how much of those I get so far I have not gotten that much let's see let's wait for some time and see what we get but it doesn't matter regardless of those cells this paint looks stunning it's like it gives me this three-dimensional vibe and that's beautiful once I'm done I'll show you the whole thing together and you'll see it's gorgeous So it's been 15 minutes you can see some cells I got some cells but it's not that much but the paint itself is so gorgeous that it really did not bother me that I did not get that many cells um, I hope you enjoyed my video